Uh, it's a 1 0 defeat to Woken. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, yeah, frustrated. I thought it was a close game. I thought we started the game really well. Made a bit of a change of shape and uh, it suited us. We had the first 25 minutes of the game, I thought, you know, we were going to get a goal, early goal. Um, they had to change formation to match us up, which is always a compliment to the team. And I was happy at half time. Uh, well, up until about five minutes before half time when they, they sort of matched us up, I thought we were slightly the better team in the first half. Second half, they were. They were a bit better team and uh, put us on the back foot a bit, but we've had chances in the game. We haven't taken them and uh, yeah, it's a competitive game. Yeah, it's a tough place to come and I don't feel like we were ever really out of the game. Mm. Um, we could have grabbed a couple in the first half. Was it just one of those days where on another day we score a couple and we walk away winners? Or Yeah, I think it's, it's always going to be a tight game. I think 1-0 either way was always going to be, you know, there or thereabouts. Um, both defences, big and strong and, and know, know the game. And, you know, and I thought they, they did that very well second half. They've done the basics really well. And uh, yeah, just tried to put us on the back foot. And uh, yeah, it's frustrating because we've created some good opportunities, um, but haven't managed to put the ball in the net today. Yeah, there was a lot of communication between you and the officials today. Um, you were shown a referee, a yellow card by the referee. Yeah. Um, any comments on that? I got booked for telling him that because I had the linesman and the fourth official in front of me saying uh, uh, blue ball, blue ball. And he, twice he just ignored and went red. That's just frustrating. Just get frustrated, and I've spoke to him. He said his comms weren't working, but they're working a lot of the other times. And listen, I'm not saying the referee's gone out there to to side with anyone. 100% he's not, but it's a tough game, and you know these are little things that we have to get right as a as an FA or as a governing body. We need to make sure that these comms do work because there's there's people's livelihoods on on the line. Yeah, and the fans they've come up here. Not a long one today, but um, yeah, you appreciate the effort. Yeah, again, you know, I think they will see like a, a team that's works really hard to try and get something out of the game today. Whether we were one nil down or, or at nil nil, I thought we um, we worked really hard to try and create opportunities. And you've got to go against this team. Um, Darren's teams are always um, hard working and resilient, and you know he's he's shown that with being in the playoffs. And the, the gutting thing is, we could have leapfrogged them today if we could have got a result, but want them to be but we've got another game Tuesday and we'll lick our wounds and go on we, you know, we've actually played okay today without, without being fantastic but we're certainly competitive for the game Yeah and talking about Tuesday we have Scunthorpe at home again yeah. we spoke about it last time is it another chance to put things right? Yes yeah, certainly I mean we've actually done, done reasonably well when we've lost the game to, for the next game to try and bounce back and our home record has been good so hopefully that can continue but um, Scunthorpe aren't the team they were when we originally were going to play them two months ago you know, they're bottom of the league and, and struggling. They've sort of turned the corner and uh, they've got some confidence back. So it'll be a tough one, but one we look forward to. Okay, thank you. Thanks.